Hello, we're excited to release the 100 version of Firefox. Okay, now let's read the release notes. And look, we now support subtitles, captions to play on YouTube. That's good. Prime Video and Netflix videos, and when you watch a British Twin picture. What? I've not seen that before, but I would like to see it. I'll put it in picture in picture. Okay, this is not picture in picture. Well, I don't see it. For some reason, it doesn't appear. But I think we can skip that. Anyways. On the first one after install, Firefox detects that its language does not match the operating system language and offers the user a choice between the two languages. Firefox spell checking now checks spelling in multiple languages. That's good. But I might be a little afraid. HDR video is now supported on Firefox on the Mac. Starting with YouTube. Wow, YouTube finally has it. Firefox users on macOS 11 Plus with HDR compatible screens <laughs> can enjoy higher fidelity video content. Now, I'm going to skip this part because it's not very important, but can be a good thing for content creators. Scroll bars on Linux and Windows 11, Fire Windows 10. Won't take space by default. Okay. Firefox now ignores the less restricted refer policies, including unsafe URL, no refer to one navigator, no origin or cross origin. The trust site sub resource slash iframe request to pre prevent privacy leaks from the refer. Users can now choose preferred color schemes for websites. And there can also be a web content appearance that can also be changed in settings. Not seen that before though. Beginning in this release, the Firefox installer for Windows is assigned to the SHA256 Digest, which is way more secure, rather than the style one. We included the full name for Windows 7. Good. We now randomly rasterize the fonts once per window. This means that opening a new tab is very fast, and switching tabs in the same window is also fast. There's still work to do to share fonts across windows. Okay, soft reloading a web page will no longer cause revalidation for all resources. Good. This is way better. I really love this. And I think everyone can do it. Uh, but here is the problem. Firefox has a new focus indicator for links, which replaces the old dotted outline and the solid blue outline. Good. This is easy. Like this, for example. Some way, some websites might not work correctly in Firefox version 100 due to Firefox's new three-digit number. You can read that in a blog post here. Okay, now there are a few more things. Support for Writable Stream API has landed. Writable streams provide an interface for writing and streaming data to a sync object. Additionally, Readable Stream has gained support for the Pipe 2 method, which allows you to connect a readable stream to a writable stream. For example, this could allow you to process data if you're using fetch for the writable stream object. With the release of Firefox 100, we are pleased to welcome the developers to, uh, to have contributed to their first code change to Firefox. In this release, 13 of them were first time contributors. So these are the ones. And that's it.